happy Labor Day Monday. I am King 5 meteorologist Leah Pizzetti, and I wanted to take a moment to unpack the forecast. We've got a couple exciting things going on. One of them, I'll tell you right now, the potential for some northern lights viewing. We're going to unpack that in just a moment, but also get you going for the week. Labor Day Monday, coming off of a nice holiday weekend. Hopefully everybody enjoyed it, and of course we are going to get back to reality the next couple of days. I know a lot of people are starting up school this week. Uh, we do have a couple heat alerts that have been issued, and of course that aurora potential. So a lot to unpack. Let's get straight to it. First, we are taking you to satellite and radar as of this Monday late afternoon. Some of those clouds have been just downright stubborn. We are finally seeing clearing this afternoon and that will continue into the evening. Uh, but it's really kept temperatures on the cool side. As of uh, just before 4 p.m. on this Monday, temperatures have not yet scraped the 70s for most areas. Puyallup did hit 72 degrees. I do expect this to change in the next couple of hours because the sun is finally making an appearance and that will help temperatures jump up honestly fairly quickly but when they do they will not stay put for long uh, because we do only have a couple of daylight hours left of course our sunsets are officially in the seven o'clock hour uh, here in western washington so the remainder of your evening clouds will continue to come and go we'll keep temperatures in the low 70s at best is what it's looking like we were originally calling for mid to upper 70s but at this point because the clouds were so darn stubborn all day uh, that is really going to mitigate that daytime heating for our Monday. All right, let's talk about the Aurora. The good news is that we are going to get a little bit of clearing uh, that will help with some of that Aurora viewing. I will say, though, we do still have some haze out there, and we do still have some clouds out and about, so it's not crystal clear skies. However, uh, we certainly could see the Aurora peeking through, especially as you head farther north. Those are some of our areas that have been historically a little bit clearer. So maybe a good opportunity to road trip up to Whatcom County. But as of tonight, uh, we are going to see the potential for some northern lights viewing. You see that left picture there. Washington is right on the edge of the potential viewing zone. So not looking great. It's not going to be the best viewing. Uh, that'll be saved for British Columbia and our friends to the north. But we do certainly have the chance we are in the visibility potential area and we did get reports that we are starting to see some of that energy entering Earth's atmosphere so uh, it does look promising for us this evening my best advice is going to be find somewhere dark head as far north as possible and it looks like we're going to see the best viewing probably starting around 10 or 11 p.m. tonight and then continuing overnight around midnight through about 2 a.m. so if you do see any of those northern lights we of course want to hear from you uh, send us your photos your videos um, th throw your dog in it that is always a classic for us we love to see uh, pets and also the weather so uh, please keep us updated if you're seeing anything all right as we look forward into tomorrow okay finally i can say this with confidence i, I did say this about today i'll be honest I, I thought we'd have better clearing but clearly that didn't happen Tomorrow, I feel much more confident in our clearing. It does look like we'll have a bright, sunny day uh, in the 70s, into the upper 70s, into the afternoon. Temperatures for tomorrow, let's walk you through it. Starting up to the north, we are in the 70s, a few low 80s as you push inland. Uh, the San Juans are going to warm up a little bit into those low 70s. As we head to Island County, upper 60s into the low to mid 70s, even and Snohomish County, upper 70s with some low 80s as well, looking very likely pretty much uh, Monroe, Arlington and east of that. We could see some of those low 80s. Kits up in King County's same thing, 70s with some low 80s starting to pop up. So a little bit warmer into our foothill communities uh, and then down to the South Pierce and Thurston counties are in those low to mid 80s as well. So the, the temperatures are definitely going to be warming up on Tuesday. You will feel the difference. 80s and even nearing 90s as we head farther south down I-5, but over along the coast, it's a much different story. Mid 60s for your day. Uh, mid 60s along the north coast as well. Low 70s through the Strait of Juan de Fuca, Hood Canal, Lake Cushman, looking at mid 80s for tomorrow. Uh, and I want to show you this view from Bellingham as of this Monday afternoon and evening because you can see the clouds have started to clear, but it's not necessarily bright blue skies, uh, although it is looking like nice kite weather. A couple people are out there flying kites. Love to see that in Bellingham Bay. Uh, but it is a little bit hazy out there. So yes, we are seeing some of that haze as of this evening. Oh, I'm sorry, everybody. It's a little bit of a bummer, uh, but as we head into tomorrow, a little bit of clearing in the morning. We do expect that haze to return into the afternoon, though. A lot of it will keep aloft, though, so not quite uh, impacting our air quality as far as 
health is concerned. Um, on the surface, AQIs should stay in the good, maybe into the moderate range, uh, but keep an eye on that. If you can smell smoke, a good rule of thumb is that uh, there may be some particulate matter in the air. Into the next couple of days, we're going to continue the warming. So uh, really starting tomorrow when we bring back those 80s and then through a good chunk of this work week, we are going to hold on to temperatures in the 80s. For the Seattle metro area, we're looking at low to mid 80s, but uh, as we head away from the water into the foothills, that's where we'll see some of our warmest spots. So the National Weather Service actually has issued a heat advisory for the foothills. I'm not too concerned about these areas because it is kind of mid to upper 80s, uh, but this is gonna be Tuesday through Thursday. Uh, so upper 80s at worst for the foothills, but I do wanna also point out to you that in Eastern Washington, it's going to be a lot warmer. We do have uh, that heat advisory in orange and then the extreme heat watch is that pink color. So uh, down the Cascades and then off to the east is where we'll see that. So the hottest conditions are going to be in Eastern Washington where triple digits look likely for many areas. I do want to also take a moment and look back as we wrap up August. By August, hello, September. Uh, today is officially September 1st. We can look at our rainfall totals the month of August actually finally brought above average rain. Finally, uh, not by much, just a couple tenths of an inch of rain, but usually most areas around the sound see around an inch or so of rain, give or take. And we saw more than that for many areas. It was un, uh, un, not unusually extremely, but a little bit above average. So that is a win. This is only the second month this calendar year that has seen above average rain. Uh, the rest of the year, all other months, uh, so all six other months were below average in the rain department. So is it fixing our calendar year deficit? No, <laughs> a couple tenths is not going to do that. We would need a couple inches to make good headway on the deficit. Bellingham is still down two and a half inches. SeaTac down more than six. Olympia down more than nine inches compared to where we should be for this time of year. So yes, August was slightly above average in the rain department. However, uh, we, it's the second driest month of the year. So even above average for a essentially bone dry month isn't going to do too much for us. However, as we head into the end of the week, we actually are keeping an eye on some potential rain chances. It's so looking like maybe Sunday into Monday, we're gonna increase some moisture. We'll keep an eye on that rain potential there. At this point, it's looking mostly just cloudy, but uh, we could squeeze out a little bit of rain as well. And of course, Labor Day is over. Sorry, should have taken that off that Tuesday, but uh, that is your forecast. Uh, and please, like I said, Send us those photos if you do see the Northern Lights. If you're going to take a trip up to the north, up to maybe Whatcom County, that'll be a great area to try to see it. Let us know. Send us your photos. Uh, and enjoy the rest of this Labor Day holiday and enjoy the rest of this week. Thanks so much for watching.